Does the new Scarlet Spider's plastic sleeveless hoodie hinder articulation? Did Hasbro use the correct body mold to give Scarlet Spider a good range of articulation? Is the new Scarlet Spider worth getting more than the old retro Scarlet Spider from 2018? Can Scarlet Spider do the famous Spider-Man poses? Are you looking for a review focusing on the figure and zooming in for a close look? How does it scale with other action figures? His white eyes are painted and sculpted really well, matching how he looks like in the comic books during the 90s. This change in 2017 where the edges of his eyes are now round. There is a clear upgrade to how his hoodie is designed this time around. Compared to the 2018 vintage series, we can see significant improvements. The drawstring of the hoodie is painted white. The hoodie is a separate piece glued to the back of his torso. You cannot put on top of his head the hoodie. Sometimes in the 90s, this popular and iconic hoodie is not present in his costume. It would have been nice if existing hoodies like this one was used for him. The good thing about his hoodie being a separate piece is when you articulate, the spider logo on his front and back won't break. The spider logo is well painted with black and there is no smudge. The sculpted rip part of his sleeves continue to the back. The texture of the hoodie is not flat. As you can see, there are folded sculpted details. In terms of his belt, we can see that it is based on the design from the 1990s. Over the years, the belt buckle changed. So this is a very much a retro design of his belt, especially with those silver things on top of the brown belt. There is sculpted details on his shiny wristbands as opposed to being painted. His legs, like his arms, are red plastic with no wash. A separate brown pouch is attached to each of his lower calf. Painted shiny silver, the buckle, and the button. He comes with a pair of closed fist hands for punching. This is just red colored plastic. There is no wash. In the comments below, compared to the art, do you think this figure needs a black wash or a cell shading? Scarlet Spider comes with a pair of web twipping hands. This is essential for Spider-Man and I'm glad that Hasbro decided to give a pair so you can perform some web twipping on one hand and on the other hand as well. To recreate those 90s comic book panels, Slide Effects created a twipped effect which works well with every Spider-Man action figure that you have for Marvel Legends. Link in the description below. Next, he comes with a pair of wall crawling hands. I noticed before it's unusual for Spider-Man to get wall crawling hands but thankfully we got a pair for this one. I noticed for Spider-Man retro figures, Hasbro would either provide 3 pairs of hands or 4 hands with one alternate head. For this particular figure, we've got 3 pairs of hands. So you can perform those dynamic poses. With the help of Toysology, check out his Instagram. He gives tutorial on how we can pose our action figures better. Here is a variation of the crouch pose. And here is another crouch pose as per Toysology in Instagram. In the comments below, let me know if you are happy with the accessories that Scarlet Spider comes with. Thank you for checking this video and sticking around. I'm Tuggernaut! So far, you can see that the sleeveless hoodie does not hinder his articulation. So can we say that Hasbro used the correct body mold? The body mold we are talking about here is the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man body. You can see that side by side, they are exactly the same. The only difference, of course, is the painted details on the Renew Your Vows, but it is the same body mold, front, back, arms, everything. 
It was a pleasant surprise that despite of all the accessories attached to Scarlet Spider's body, the articulation is not affected. The Scarlet Spider comes with a hoodie, some belt, some wristbands. He can crunch backward that far. Exactly just the same with the Renew Your Bow Spider-Man. Thankfully, the hoodie is not attached to his waist, which allows him to do that. Also, he can crunch forward just exactly the same as the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. Scarlet Spider's sleeveless hoodie does a good job of hiding the gap between the upper torso and lower torso when he performs a crunching pose. Especially when the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man twists his upper torso, you can see how the lines would break. Unlike with Scarlet Spider, it feels so seamless. It's like real compared to Renew Your Bow Spider-Man wherein it's like his upper torso is really indeed a separate piece to his lower torso. Since it's the same body mold, you can see that Scarlet Spider comes with that toe articulation as well. I do hope going forward Hasbro would continue to use this body mold for Spider-Man action figures. In terms of accessories, both comes with a pair of wall crawling hands. All of Scarlet Spider's hands are exactly the same as the Renew Your Bow Spider-Man. Only difference again is with Scarlet Spider's design, it's all red plastic. They can do a fist bump as well because they come with a pair of close fist hands. The third pair of hands they come with is a pair of web twipping hands. This gives both Spider-Man a grand total of three pairs of hands. It is also nice that you can use the twip slide effects on the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. So you can have both Spider-Man twipping away. If you are interested with the twip effects, do check out SlideFX's Facebook page, link in the description below. An additional accessory that the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man comes with is a alternate unmasked head of Peter Parker. Unfortunately, Kane or the Scarlet Spider does not come with an unmasked head, but you can do a kit bash and use the Peter Parker head. Though the hair is brownish black in color, it still matches how he looked during the 90s. It would have been nice if we got a blonde alternate head just like the vintage wave. Here is a kit bash using the multiple man from the Apocalypse wave Unmask head skull. So you can have two of them unmasked but with brown dark hair. In the comments below, let me know what you think are the other accessories that could have made this Hasbro Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider a perfect Scarlet Spider action figure. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, ringing the notification bell, and checking out other reviews I have on the channel. If you find this review helpful, I hope you share it with your friends and give this review a like. The figure stands 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches tall. According to the info trading card, Peter Parker is 5 feet 10 inches tall. Since Kane is a clone of Peter, he would be that tall also, making this figure a little bit tall for 112 scale. Starting the size comparison with 6-inch scale, Marvel Legends figures, we have the X-Men 97 Wolverine and Magneto. Next, we have Jubilee from the Caliban Wave and Mystique from the X-Men Animated Series Wave. For some MCU Spider-Man, we have the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man. Next, we have the Final Swing Suit Spider-Man and the No Way Home Spider-Man. For some X-Men 97 action figures, we have Cyclops and Jean Grey, which I reviewed recently. Next, we have Maddie Pryor and the amazing Kurt Wagner. 
Next, we have the Renew Your Bow Spider-Man and the Black Suit Spider-Man. For larger Hasbro Marvel Legends 6-inch scale figures, let's check out the Retro Kingpin and the Retro Rhino. For 112 scale comparisons, here we have the brown costume Wolverine and Cyclops, both Mapex Medicom toys. Next, we have some loose collector ladies. We have Darna, a Filipino superhero, and Crusade Comics, She. This figure will fit in just right with the Across the Spider-Verse characters as he appeared in the Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 movie. Here he is besides Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, and Peter B. Parker. Next, we have him besides Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Man 2099. For a side-by-side 6-inch and 7-inch scale comparison, here we have on the left, a Marvel Legend, Sabretooth, and on the right, Marvel Select, Sabretooth. Next, we have Marvel Legends, Build a Figure, Juggernaut, and the Marvel Select 7-inch scale, Juggernaut. Next, we have the Marvel Legends 80 years anniversary Hulk. And on the other side, we have the Diamond Select Toys Marvel Select Hulk. The recommended retail price of Scarlet Spider is $24.99 USD. For Australia, the recommended retail price is $45 AUD. In our shop, we sold this figure for $40 AUD. Prior to the release of this figure, the recent Scarlet Spider action figure is from 2018, the Vintage Series. Average eBay auction price is $70. Next we have is from 2015, from the Rhino Vilda figure, the average eBay buy it now price is $77 US dollars and 50 cents. The packaging of Scarlet Spider is in the box collector friendly. On top is the Spider-Man logo from the animated series. We have art featuring Scarlet Spider and we can see the figure and its accessories. Keeping with the retro Toy Biz design, we have on the back a design of how you change the hands of Scarlet Spider and a short read up. Pause it right now if you want to have a read. At the bottom, some legalities and warnings we rarely read. For articulation, his head can move from side to side. He can look up that far which is perfect for swinging poses or web crawling poses. This is made possible by the neck peg wherein there is a cut at the back which allows him to look that far up. Even with the brand new plastic hoodie, it does not limit the articulation of his torso. He can extend his arms that far. He has a bicep swivel right here. He has a butterfly joint. He has double jointed pinless elbows. He can swivel and hinge forward and back his hand. He can do a pull 360. He has a upper torso swivel right there. He can crunch backward that far almost a 90 degrees angle he can crunch forward as well almost a 90 degrees angle as well he does not come with a waist swivel as you can see under the belt there's no waist swivel he has a upper thigh swivel right there he can do a split he has a drop down leg here he has double jointed pinless knees he can kick that far he has a lower calf swivel. He has toe articulation that can hinge forward and back. He can hinge his feet forward and back. He has an ankle rocker. Scarlet Spider is the winner of the recent poll I have in YouTube. In terms of our online shop, he is the best selling figure for this year so far. My final thoughts. This is one good Hasbro Marvel Legends action figure as he can articulate really well you can do the comic book poses of Spider-Man at first I wasn't sure because he has a plastic sleeveless hoodie the Mafex one had cloth and I believe it would be better for action figure photography but this one is not that bad the only limitation you have is you can't put his hoodie on top of his head.
Despite missing a unmasked blonde head sculpt of Kane, this is a really good action figure that you should consider adding to your collection. A big thank you for slide effects for the twip effects and thank you to Payaso Dioramas for the diorama I use for my videos and my photos. Please help my reviews get recommended by the YouTube algorithm through your likes, subscription, and comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell.